wildest game show is back. Elizabeth Banks hosts our big buck bonanza. Press your luck. Series premiere Wednesday, 8, 7 central on ABC. I can't tell you how much I love my HQ mug. Yes, I can. I love it so much. Okay, now for something to warm up your brain. Some Ditloids, babies. Ditloids. Ditloids. Okay, seven D and a W, right? This is the example. Seven days in a week. It's a puzzle, right? Okay, 13 in a BD. What is that? I can't tell you, but you know. And if you don't know, now you know. 13 in a baker's dozen. Yeah. Okay, 4Q to the G. 4Q to the G. That sounds like you're giving somebody subway directions in New York. <laughs> All right, you got to take four Q to the, to the G. Four quarts to the gallon. Yeah, it's game time, babies. Get your thumbs ready. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Red leather, yellow leather. Give me the gift of a grip top sock. Clip, 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 top sock. Ah. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. All right, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. Apparently unhappy with the U.S. version, Russia's making its own version of what TV series? Chernobyl, Game of Thrones, or Doug? I'm going to go A. What's it going to be? This is the first question. It's easy, okay? Yeah, I know America made that too, but... <sighs> a few Russians might have uh, signed that angry Game of Thrones season 8 petition, but the answer here is Chernobyl. 117,812 of y'all knew that. The show seems to be a hit in Russia with the Russian government. They, they, they're not feeling it. Yeah. All right, before we move on, I want to remind y'all about Extra Lives. You can now use multiple Extra Lives to win the game. Up to three in a single game. Buy one right now if you see it on your screen. You can only buy them once per game. Again, use up to three of them, right, on any round, but not on a question with a prize and not after question 12. Yeah, that's when they stop working. Here we go. Q2, babies. What type of cherry is traditionally put on a classic ice cream sundae? Maraschino, Valentino, or Palomino? What's it gonna be? Fix my tie, cause the chat is crazy. Yeah. All right, the classic topping here is the maraschino cherry. 203,966 of y'all got it. You've seen maraschino cherries countless times, but where does the name come from? The sour marasca cherry. Now you know. Yeah. Question number three, what's it gonna be? What is the name of the patient in the classic game Operation? Patient Zero, Milton Bradley, or Cavity Sam? I'm guessing C. Come on now. Lock in those answers. Time's up. You should know the name of the patient you're operating on if you are a doctor. But if you're playing Operation, it's Cavity Sam. Is it water on the knee? Operation! The whole bucket, see? 159,247 got Cavity Sam. That's the answer I was looking for. Y'all don't need no surgery. It's time for question four. Here we go. Time Magazine's pick for greatest comedy routine of the 20th century concerned what sport? Football, baseball, or hockey? I'm going with B. That's a guess. Let's go to work. All right. I'm talking about who's on first. The quintessential sketch about baseball. Baseball. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. 150,261 got it. That's the answer I was looking for. Come on now. <sighs> Time praised the sketch as absurdism mixed with the easy pleasure of confusion. Who's on first? Question number five. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five on it. For the children. Okay, here we go. 
What is not the basis of a famous economic model of government spending? Guns, butter, or books? When? I guess, Talking about the I government guess I and spending money. Seen, but I should have went with All a. right, you won't find any books in this model. I should have went with A. Books! Yeah! 87,851. All right, quoted every generation or so. This goes back at least to the Wilson administration and models the tension between uh, defense spending and what are called civilian goods, simplified as guns or butter. Yeah. Question number six. Let's go. What constellation has been suggested Nothing. many times throughout history as the 13th astrological sign? Vorpecula? Ophicus? Ophicus? Oh, or Cassiopeia? Cassiopeia. Oh, Volpecula, Ophiuchus, and Cassiopeia. Oh, what the heck? Who spelled? Who's, who's doing the spelling for the space stuff? There is a lot of debate about the, uh, the status of Ophiuchus. Um, you know, as it being a member of Zodiac. Yes, Ophiuchus was the answer. 65,367 Got it. Every now and then, an astrologer tries to, to widen the field of star signs in search of a more precise, more personalized waste of time. I used one on that one. <laughs> Question seven. Here we go. Question seven. All dogs go to heaven. I'm saying it here, and I'm going to say it again a little later because I didn't say it yesterday. Yeah. All right. The singer in this clip went on to front what band? Take a look. The new hot power comes back from Hoover. It's a beautiful mover. Is it Anthrax, Megadeth, or ACDC? I have no idea. Go with B. I'm gonna guess B. What's it gonna be? I'm guessing B because it's not A. Ah, that's good coffee. Oh, I don't know. I don't okay, know. legend has it that this jingle was recorded on the same day in 1980 that Brian Johnson auditioned to replace Bon Scott in ACDC. Oh, sorry. 41,310 of y'all knew it. Showbiz is a surprising game, okay? You can go straight from vacuums to selling out arenas. Yeah, baby. Oh, we are getting closer and closer to the first prize, and I can't wait. Here we go. Question eight. Question number. No, you've been there. He is. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time it cracks me up. Okay. Question eight. Which Indiana Jones movie is largely set the earliest? Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, or Raiders of the Lost Ark? What's it going to be? Think you know the answer? All right, if you're going by order of release, watch out, okay? The captions at the beginning of the film places Raiders in 1936 and Temple of Doom a year earlier in 1935. Temple of Doom! Yeah, Temple of Doom. Doom. 28,346. Got it right. We're moving on to question number nine. This is the first prize of the evening. We're going to see what it's going to be. You put your extra lives away. Put them in your pocket right now. Tuck them, tuck them away. Okay? You get this question right, I'm going to offer you some money. So let's see. Question nine. Brass is an alloy of copper plus an element commonly described as what? Halogen, alkali metal, or dietary nutrient? All right, I wouldn't recommend eating a high brass cereal. But you're not nutritionally complete without brass's better half. Zinc, babies. It's also important in dandruff wow. shampoo. Oh! Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. I got to sing it. Savage Question Song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage Question Song. That's a Savage Question Song. 4,702 of you got it right. We just lost a bunch of people mm -hmm. on the road to $75,000. But first, let's see how much money I'm flipping at you. The money flippers flipping the money, baby. 54 cents right now. The first prize, 54 cents to 4,702 of you. We got four questions till the next prize. So what you going to do? You going to stay and play or walk away? Hmm. 1,331 of you decided to take 54 cents. Congratulations! Uh, one, ving, dos, osulusu, linus b, yep, yep. 
I was trying to read the name so fast. Oh boy. Oh, that was that was very savage. Savage. Yeah. Here we go. Question number ten. In the U.S., which is not an NCAA sponsored sport? Bowling, table tennis, or beach volleyball? I don't guess bowling, but I don't know. It's not an NCAA sponsored sport. Okay. Sorry, ping pong fans. You left high and dry. Table tennis. Yes. 2,746 of you got it right, which means you're moving on to question 11. All dogs go to heaven. And cats, too. And lizards. Maybe not snakes. I love snakes. I have two. Question 11. Here we go. Where is the largest island that's under French control? Indian Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, or Pacific Ocean? Locking those hands. The largest French All island. right now. All right now. At one time, Madagascar would have been the answer, but no empire lasts forever. Canadian These Canadian days, Canadian. the biggest chunk of France surrounded by water is <laughs> Nouvelle Caledonie or New Caledonia. Yeah. Between uh, Vanua, Vanuatu and uh, Australia. Did y'all know that? South Atlantic Pacific. Right Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> 1071. Got it right. Oh boy. Vanuatu. <sighs> yeah. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like coffee. Here we go. Which game has not been inducted into the World Video Game Hall of Fame? Asteroids, Street Fighter 2, or Tetris? Come on, gamers. Get this one right, and you're moving on to the next prize. Maybe in a few decades, all the arcade classics will be recognized, but for now, Asteroids has only been a finalist. Asteroids! 800. Whoo! Whoo! 894. Whoo! Lost some people. That's a savage question. I'm going to sing this song. Here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Hit the shoulders. All right. Asteroid. That's what I was looking for, babies. It's time for the next prize. Question 13, Jelly Beans. Here we go. Get this one right. I'm offering you some more money. And it's looking like it's going to be a big chunk of change since we only got like 800 people left in the game. Here we go. The part of the world that lends its name to the Anatolian shepherd dog also goes by what? Prussia, Canaan, or Asia Minor? Okay, here we go. The Anatolian shepherd is from the region of Anatolia in Turkey, which also used to be called Asia Minor. 708 are feeling great. Time to flip some money your way, babies. Here we go. How much is it going to be to 708 players? I'm offering you $2.83 on this lovely Saturday. What you going to do? You going to stay and play or walk away? The choice, HQTs, is yours. 251 of you decided to take $2.83, and I ain't mad at you. We got four questions left to the next prize, and it's going to be a doozy. We're playing for $75,000. Don't go nowhere. Hang out with me. Let's go. Question 14. Which is the Greek name for the closest relative of the hero Her Heracles? Hercules, Hera, or Alcmene? Hmm. Who's it going to be? Okay, if you went for Hercules, you're thinking of the Roman name for Heracles. Son of the great beauty, Alcamini. 235, got it right. Yes, Hera is actually Zeus's older sister and one of his wives. I guess that means she's like an aunt, stepmother. There's some Game of Thrones stuff going on in uh, Greek mythology, y'all. Yeah. All right, question 15. <laughs> Here we go. Whew. We're getting so close. When Nirvana's Nevermind was given a 20th anniversary reissue, what changed on some covers? Money, baby, or water? Come on now. All right, everybody loves the classic baby swimming after a buck cover. But a lot can happen in 20 years. Like inflation. That's one reason the reissue has a nice fat 20 on the cover. The money changed, y'all. 
61 players still in the game. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Whoo! What? Savage question. Here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. All right, question 16. I can feel the tension in the air. Question 16. Here we go. Which of these science fiction authors was born first? Kurt Vonnegut, Isaac Asimov, or Robert Heinlein? Okie dokie, babies. Here we go. Vonnegut was born in 1922, and Asimov was born in 1920. But Heinlein, that rhymes, was born in 1907, thus making him the oldest. He was born first. 48 of you got Robert Heinlein. You're still in the game. We're at the next prize question. Here we go. It's prize time. Oh, boy. Get it right. I'm flipping you some money. Some big money now. Okay. Which of these U.S. presidents did not preside over the administration of a new U.S. state? Rutherford B. Hayes, William Howard Taft, or Dwight D. Eisenhower? All right. Eisenhower was president when Alaska and Hawaii were admitted, and Taft was president when New Mexico and Arizona were admitted. No states were admitted during Hayes' presidency. Rutherford B. Hayes is the answer. Fifteen players just got it right. Whoa! Come on now! Come on now! Oh, time to flip some money at you, babies! To 15 of you! Oh, oh. Okay, I'm offering $214.29. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay and play or are you gonna walk away? It's Saturday. Ten, ten people chose to take $300. Okay, it's, the, the prize jumped up. <laughs> okay, oh, woo! All right. All right now. Okay. Whew. Okay. Sorry, I'm antsy. Four questions till the next prize. Here we go. <sighs> Y'all ready? I'm ready. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm going to have some more coffee. Let me tell y'all something, okay? When I started at HQ, I was loving it. I was just doing West Coast games. I was like, this is dope. It's midnight in New York, but I'm ready. And now I'm doing all these games, and it's just the, the amount of money I get to give away every day touches my heart, okay? I'm going to call whoever wins this money. Yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Question 18. What last name is shared by two different actors who played the doctor in Doctor Who? Smith, Baker, or McCoy? All right, Doctor Who's fourth and sixth incarnations were played by Tom and Colin Baker. No relation. Why is he still going? Okay, that's weird. Um... Okay, well, all right. Congratulations to everybody who took home a win tonight and to everyone who reached a new level. Since nobody won a jackpot, I guess I'm going uh, to jack it up tomorrow. Okay. Woo, $100,000 tomorrow night at 9. Come on through. Yeah. That is so weird when that happens. Hard what? Oh, all right. Well. Don't go too far, because we got HQ Words coming up next. I'm your host, Matt Richards. Follow me at Matt Was Funny on the social media. I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Be good to each other. Bye.